to be able to put my ceiling up I needed some strip here because having put this foam uh, it kind of bulged down a little bit so I needed to put a board here so I can be able to screw the ceiling on so I have some of these uh, three-quarter boards that I have before from one other job so I'm trying to use them and um, to create that space or to cover up that space for instance if you see from here you see the ceiling panel here is in, it receded and the insulation is kind of protruding so when I put this up it gives it it gives me a, splay, a, a, a place to be able to screw my boards on okay <laughs> yeah so This tool comes handy. I bought it from Walmart for less than $30. It just helps you to move around. Can I use the center drill? This is one and four. Screws to hold them up. I kind of see a little bit of the back down here. I need to cut that one off. As you can see here these speakers are on my way so I need to make it a uh, template to get this car so I don't uh, be battling with how to get that place uh, those curves on the boards so I'm using the tongue and groove um, on the ceiling so right now this is my little challenge getting these speakers getting the cords in the speakers so I'm gonna use this board I'm gonna use this cardboard and cut the cords when I do that then it'll be easy for me to uh, keep putting the tongue and grooves up
piece of board like this. And I have a mallet. And then I hit it in. You only need one screw and since uh, the groove, the tongue got into the groove on this side, so I only need one screw to hold it on the other side. So it's here. So I put one screw here. But before I do that, I want to put my electrical up. Now that I've got all the curvatures, I put my lights up. The cabinet is gonna be right about here. So just right about here. And so I need light here. I want a bore hole in all this part before I actually screw this board. Holes. In pre-wiring these recessed lamps, or these recessed lights, so easy. This is like a, a junction box where all of them connect. There are six outlets, so they all plug into here. So what I do is I draw this close to as much as I can to where the switch will be. I connect the switch here to this once this is connected and then that's where the switch will be right there as you enter from the other side of the door so I'm going to connect this now and then bring it up across to that wire there so that when I'm ready to put the switch I will just all I need is to connect this wire and that wire and put it on the switch and that's it and all the lights will come on and I've already pre-wired it to come to where the battery will be and all the yeah my my connections it's all pre-wired into the ceiling and down to this point here so I'm gonna connect this now and insert it across over to that side Okay, this is what I did. So, junction box is here. So I put all the recessed light there. There's one, two, this. I like to have lights in my kitchen, so I have one here facing the kitchen. This is where the stove is gonna be while I'm cooking. Of course, this is the switch. I got this one in here and I connected it to this point here. I'm sure hopefully you can see it. And then just insert it here inside. You can't miss it, it's just a hole. And then this one, two, three, 
I've already inserted it here into their holes and then I just push it up here and just tuck in all the wires. Just like so, that's it. So I have all this one, all ready to connect the switch. This other wire comes in from here and goes all the way down. And that's it. Connected to the fuse box and the battery. And that's it. So I'm gonna put all the tongue and grooves in all the ceiling and then the same thing I will do. Now I want to go hold for the next set of lights. I try to make sure it's, it lines up straight like this. So. Okay, so two sets of lights. So now I need to connect these wires as well. That's it. So put back the panels. Shows close. Some of those boards were warped and they were pain trying to get them inside. So right now I think I have about two or two and a half, maybe two, two boards, very two or three boards. I have them here, but they are warped. So I have to take them back to Home Depot and exchange them hopefully. So, and then I will finish up. So I talked in all the wires, as I said, right there, as you can see, they all, the, all the wires have disappeared because I talked them in and uh, you can do the same. 